My name is Gavin Stevens. I somehow or other managed to play Test Cricket for Australia. I toured India and Pakistan in 1959-60, but however, I was not terribly successful. My only claim to fame was I nearly became the first Test cricketer from any country in the world to die on tour. I developed hepatitis in Madras. It's wonderful to represent your country. In um, Karachi, they held up the Test match there against Pakistan uh, because uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower, the famous World War II general, uh, was American president, but they held up the cricket match. We had to go inside and put our blazers on and then line up, and poor old Ike had walked along past us and, and had no idea about anything about cricket. And, and uh, we, we all had a bit of a chuckle and, and felt sorry for him because he was trying to make, uh, make uh, polite conversation. Uh, we, we laughed when he got in front of Wally Grout, who was a, a, a wonderful bloke and an Australian wicketkeeper at the time. He, he asked uh, uh, Wally what the average age of the team was and Wally said 28. And, and we, we, the rest of us burst out laughing because Wally had been th 32 for about four years. <laughs> Having had the, uh, the wonderful opportunity of being coached by Don Bradman, Don Bradman used to tell us uh, you should be making a constant note as a batsman of exactly where each fieldsman is so that you don't necessarily have to bash the cover off the ball, which they seem to be obsessed with nowadays, but you can, uh, if you just place it in between the fieldsmen, uh, a lot of fours and nearly as good as a lot of sixes something that I've placed importance into, and that is if you get off your backside and try hard enough, anybody can achieve anything. I don't think I was a great star and had great talent, but I was pretty determined that I, I wanted to play for Australia, and I would strongly urge young people to uh, adhere to this kind of thinking.